good morning, good morning. Today is December 6th, St. Nicholas's Day. Um, before I begin, every time we say the Nicene Creed in church, St. Nicholas was there and helped write that. So yeah, Santa helped write the Nicene Creed. Good to remember. Now, with that being said, let's start our morning devotion and then we'll talk about our Sunday School lesson for today. So, we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All right. So, <clears throat> I, I have a question, and, and, and it's going to set up our, our lesson, but um, how many of you, if you get bored, are a little bit more apt to get into trouble? I, I know if I, if I get bored, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do, I can end up doing things that are dumb and foolish, or sometimes even get myself into trouble. It does happen, even to adults. And in fact, <clears throat> our uh, lesson today is an example of this. So Moses goes to get the Ten Commandments, but when he gets them, he's up on Mount Sinai for 40 days. And all the children of Israel are just gathered around the base of the mountain, waiting. And Moses has been gone a, a long time. They're bored. And <clears throat> they're going to get up to no good. In fact, they're going to do one of the lousiest, worst things you could possibly do in the entirety of the Old Testament. That's what they do. And I'll let you study and learn what that is and how God deals with it. So, so. Today's a, a lesson is a, an example of what not to do, all right? So, so it, it's a wild story, wild, wild. So, yeah, don't, don't do this. So, with that being said, how about we sing them? Since we are coming up on, a, on Advent, the season, behold the blue. See, we, we got the, the wreath up. Let's sing... The, uh, an Advent hymn. And we'll do this one for the next few weeks so we can learn it well. Let's do verse 1 of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Let's see, can we read that? All right. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here. Until the Son of God appears. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel. Shall come to thee, O Israel. Now, that one is normally the very last hymn we sing in Advent. The last fourth Sunday in Advent. And, and do you want to know why? I, I'll, I'll, I'll take you. Our, our banner gets this. Let's go on a field trip. Do, 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 do. If you notice our banner up there, we've got the four candles for Advent. Watch, prepare, behold, the pink one, that'll be next week. And then the fourth one is rejoice. And what's the, the main refrain on O Come, O Come, Emmanuel? Rejoice, rejoice. So, and it's also the last Advent hymn in the book. So, All right, let's pray, and then we'll let you get ready for your class. They take off their earrings and melt them. Ah, okay. Now, just, just get the story. The story is great. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer, and I'll let you get to your lesson. So let us pray. <coughs> Excuse me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. 
on them. I can't believe what they do in the lesson. It's fantastic. Well, no, it's terrible, but it, it's, it, it's fantastically bizarre and terrible and just, oh. Okay, it's a good lesson. Go, go to it. Have fun. Bye, everybody.